Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of Don't Starve. You're listening to the voice of Michael, which is pretty much half of me Joe Gaming, since Jonas isn't with me. So yeah. Uh, Don't Starve is pretty much like a survivor game, where you live off nature, you build a camp, you try to survive, uh, and uh, the twist is that it's like uh, it's this hardcore mode. So if you die, you lose your entire world. So that's kind of neat. So I'm just gonna start off this series and see how long I can survive, which probably isn't for that long, because I have played this game before, but it's been a long time and there has been a bunch of updates since I last played it. So. It should be interesting. Um, also, let's get into it. <coughs> choose a slot. A new game. Uh, so yeah, you can choose different characters, uh, which you have to unlock by pretty much playing, just yeah, playing and progressing in the game. So this is the, the default guy, which is Wilson. He bro grows a magnificent beard. Which is kind of neat. This is the second little character called Willow. She is the fire starter, which is immune to fire damage and starts fire in the dark. So, yeah, kind of cool. But I don't know. I like Wilson because he has this cool beard. <laughs> also, this guy's. Uh, I think he has some more HP or something. This is Wendy. I think that, like. Um, Willow, Wendy, I have unlocked earlier. Uh, so, yeah, Wendy has visitors at night, which pretty much uh, it means that, that she has um, her twin sister, Abigail, uh, visit you. Anyways, um, yeah, customize world, you can, um, you can uh, edit or customize a lot of stuff, like uh, what weather should be. How long is daytime? I guess season start. Blah blah. I have no idea what this is because this wasn't in when I last played. Don't starve. So I'm gonna go with. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with default, and I'm gonna be playing as Wilson. Start. So I'm gonna show you the intro. Which is kind of neat as well. Kind of cool, kind of awesome, kind of nice, sweet. <coughs> yeah, okay. Wrangling monsters, a lot of weird stuff going on. Inserting Wilson's beard, <laughs> uh, which kind of um, reminds me that I haven't shaved in quite a while. I think of saving up a beard like Wilson and just become this cool survival guy. Okay, I'm gonna be silent. Now, intro time. Engage! So yeah, that's the intro. <laughs> you get no tutorial whatsoever. But yeah, so this is like, um, this is Wilson, and this is the world. So you use your mouse to navigate around. Uh, this is like, what time it is. Your hunger bar, pretty much. This is like HP. This is your, uh, how, how are your mental state this is. Like, you can go insane and stuff like that. I don't really know how that works. This is like your building menu. You can build a lot of stuff here, uh, like campfire, and you need like different type of shits, and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna collect some seeds, some flowers, and you will harvest stuff like I pick grass, I pick saplings. But you notice like there, are, you can still see that there has been some grass and saplings and sh stuff like that. Um, yeah. And as you can probably hear, um, if you examine stuff, yeah, 
he, he kind of sounds like a small trumpet. So that's kind of one of the features as well with different characters, they all sound like different instruments. Um, well that's kind of cool I guess, just as you can see my stuff ends up down here, which I can eat to restore my food meter. And also I have this map. Um, here, this is me, I'm Wilson, and you can see like everything you've explored, which is very handy. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to pick up some food, some saplings, don't worry about the flowers for now, but uh, berries, saplings, grass, it's all good. Also, like if you interrupt a bird while it's on the ground, sometimes they drop saplings, uh, I mean uh, seeds, which you can eat, so that's kind of neat. Oh, this is what it's all about. Flint. You gotta find flint. Because if you find some flint, you can build some tools, which you can use to cut down trees and build and whatnot. So it's cool, it's all good. <coughs> so I'm just gonna build a an axe. Chop down trees. Build. Uh, so I have this axe equipped here. Uh, and I can chop down trees. So, depending on how large it is, obviously it takes it takes um, a different amount of time. And it drops a different amount of logs. So you pick up logs, pine cones, are used to uh, plant new trees at your camp. So you should probably uh, chop down a few trees so you can get a campfire going to to get through night time because night time is scary time because uh, scary time means monsters. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what sort of monsters that will come out during night, but you'll see, you'll see, you will see. Anyways, chopping away, Mr. Wilson. So notice how he has no beard. Just pointing that out. Uh, what's that? A red mushroom. That's cool. Never seen. That. Never seen that before. Uh, yeah. So you just. Uh, you can see here that uh, this yellow part is like daytime. And when it goes over to this red, it's um, yeah, it's getting late. I need to make fire. Okay, so you don't have to make fire yet. You can still try to find a decent location to put your fireplace at, because you don't want to put it too close to a tree or something, um, because obviously it will catch fire. So we're just going about picking up some more stuff. I'm gonna see where to go. I'm gonna go down here. What's this black things? Hmm. Oh, it's a path. Okay, I see. I see. Flint. What's that? A wormhole? Uh, okay, might try that later. Beehives. Uh, which you can use to get honey, I guess. I don't really remember. I'm just gonna put my campfire here, I think. Somewhat close to the trees, but not too close because then I can chop some down during night time. But I don't risk uh, burning them up. So, campfire, build campfire, you just block it out. The fire's getting a bit low, so okay. So, you have to add fuel to the fire. Uh, and yeah, when, when it says that the fire is getting out of hand, you have to watch the trees. Make sure you're not too close to the trees. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and what you can do during night time is you can chop down close nearby trees and you can uh, do that kind of stuff. And you can also cook your food. So, for example, the seeds cook. Oof. And I get toasted seeds. So, uh, this is kind of the thing I don't really know how it works. Because if you look here, this is my. Uh, my Sanity is dropping because of it's getting dark. And even though I'm close to a campfire, it's still dropping. So it's weird. But from what I remember, you can regain your sanity by picking flowers and such. Yeah, kind of, kind of 
fun idea. But anyways, um, you can see my health, uh, my hunger is at 90. I ate some toasted seeds. It's at 94. Uh, if I remember correctly, seeds um, they are particularly helpful for regaining your health, and some other types of food are better for um, regaining hunger. So I could also cook some carrots. Not all of them, because I want to save some for later. And eat some. 102, 114, 127. I'm gonna cook some berries. So as you can see, it's really dark as dark uh, during night, so you can't do anything without a source of light. To add some more fuel, you can see a bit wider around your surroundings. So what happens is that if you step outside into the darkness, it's so dark. Oop. Yeah, you hear that creepy noise? I have no idea what it is, but it lives in the darkness. And if you stay out in the in the dark for like uh, ten seconds or so. Uh, you will get attacked by this weird creature of the night, which will kill you, and you will lose all your stuff. So, <laughs> if you decide to give this game a go, remember that you can lose all your stuff at any given moment, so just don't get attached to your stuff. It's just like in Minecraft. You know, don't get too attached to your stuff, because eventually you'll like die, and you'll lose it, and you you'll die of lava or something. Anyways, saving. Ooh. Um, so that's my day one in um, in <laughs> Don't Star. I hope it wasn't too boring. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I forgot to so tell you that uh, your tools actually lose durability as you use them, so that's why I don't have my axe anymore uh, because it broke. Anyways. This has been episode 1 of Don't Star with Michael. Uh, I hope to see you soon again. And uh, yeah, episode 2, we will probably be uh, gathering some more resources, trying to find some stone. And uh, yeah, because it's pretty much all about science this game. And we'll try to do some sciencey stuff next episode. So I will see you then. Goodbye.